Alrighty, so let's dig in here. Um, let's do a quick initial setup for Smart Lead. So, um, like I mentioned, very excited about this tool. Think it solves a lot of my problems personally as an agency. Um, due to the, you can have multiple domains when within one account. Okay, so the initial setup is very straightforward, right? The API key is automatically generated. Uh, I did connect GPT-4. I have not dug into this yet. Um, I'm curious if I can use this on the email copywriting side, um, which is another area that I'm really excited about this tool. Um, time zone preferences. I actually believe I have the wrong time zone for me in here, which is not good. Now it is. Okay, cool. Go ahead and save that. All righty. Um, security, nothing there. Webhooks. I actually did set up a webhook to Slack. Okay. So anytime, and it's super easy, anytime you have a, and I set this up as an email reply, right? I'll come over to Slack. I'll check out my um, incoming webhook here, and we can see that I tested it out yesterday. Looks good. All right. Um, this is super helpful if you run multiple different customers at once. Get a couple Slack channels, see all of your replies in one place, uh, and then you can move forward from there. Okay, global block list. This is an interesting piece as well because you can block people from the entire um you know, the entire platform, right? Which is exactly what this would be. You can also block leads for specific clients, right? So if you have a client and he has a, um, you know, really problematic ex prospect, ex customer, whatever it might be, right? You can block that person from an individual client and they're still in the flow for everybody else, right? So if you're working vertically here, sorry, horizontally here, and working with a lot of the companies in, in a similar industry, this is perfect for you, okay? Uh, all right, team members, uh, pretty easy here. Um, I don't have any in here as of right now as I, I kind of do this solo. Uh, tag manager, this is what I was showing you before with the color, so by the end of the day here, I'm gonna have five of these in here, which is great to see. Uh, lead categories, didn't really dive into this too, too much, but they do have triggers that are associated with each. So not positive, just for an example, would be um, equivalent to Apollo's not interested, okay? Then they would be removed from sequences. Um, mailbox disconnects, this is great because I'm running, you know, soon to be 50 different mailboxes in here. I wanna get an email when one of my inboxes, you know, craps out. Um, and then the subscription we kinda covered. So I wanna keep these videos a little bit shorter. I'm gonna leave that there and uh, I'll catch you guys on the next one.